Hello, everyone. Um, welcome to Art Recess. And today we're going to do one of my favorite things, which is collage. Now, if you don't know what collage is, think of it like a puzzle. All these different pieces together, and it creates a new story that your eyes will sparkle and dance when it looks at. So some of the materials we need, you'll be able to find at your house or borrow from someone near to you, or even the library sometimes has things like this. Uh, what you want is a bunch of magazines, with lots of color. Doesn't matter if they're car magazines or house magazines. Um, how about a stack of paper? Um, I like to have some glue sticks. It doesn't matter what kind of glue stick, probably use them at school a lot. And some black markers that work, mm, not too thick. And the last thing you'll need is scissors. So um, I have the list written here and I'll put the list right here so you can see it says colorful magazines, white paper, black markers, scissors, and a glue stick. And you'll see I'll get really messy really quickly, but if you have them where you can reach them, that's perfect. And today we're going to do something called skateboard collage. And I like collage because I can move pieces around and I can make it look active. And when I think of skateboarding, I think about moving around and being active. So this is a picture of a skateboard collage that I did a little while ago. And this gives you a sense of what we're working towards if you're a little bit confused. But you're gonna do it your way, okay? The thing is, this is gonna be your art. It's gonna go on your refrigerator, not on mine. So I'm just here to help you get started and then all your ideas will come. So here we have all the different magazines. I'm gonna just choose one. And what I like to do uh, when I'm making art is use things that can be recycled. And magazines are great for that. And so when I go through a magazine, so I don't get confused by all the pictures, is I actually hold it upside down. And that way I'm looking at all the colors and patterns and I don't start reading the articles because I can get caught in doing that. But magazines are amazing because you can see all these bright blues and different patterns that people have made and stripes and stuff. So I need some things from the magazine, so I'm gonna tear them out. First of all, I'm gonna look for patterns. I'm going to make a collage of two people skateboarding and I need to think, what kind of shirts are they gonna wear? So when I see patterns that I like in a magazine, I'm just gonna tear out the whole page. Now on this side, I can see orange and blue. And on this side, I see colors in the pillows. I'm gonna take that one out and I'll just put it to the side. And look here, my next page, I've got blue and green. I'm gonna tear that one out too. So patterns are kind of shapes that happen over and over again. And you know what? I can even see patterns in food. This is hilarious. I think that would make a really cool shirt. So when I want those patterns, I'm just going to tear it out of the magazine until I have a stockpile of patterns. And here I did some before I started uh, showing you today. And you can see, look at all the different patterns here. I'll pull it up for you. Lots of different patterns of flowers and foods and hands. Makes me so excited just to shuffle them together and see all the colors and shapes acting together. So that is my pattern pile. The second thing I need, because we're doing skateboarders and the skateboarders are people, is we need to find some colors for skin. And so I already see on this page, there's some really cool skin colors. I'm gonna tear this one out and I'm gonna put it in my skin pile. So you can see I'm just, I've got one pile for patterns, one pile for skin color. Um, and skins can be all different kinds of colors, yellow, green, if you're not feeling well, you might feel greenish, brown or black. So in the magazines, you might have a little bit harder time just finding those colors, but when you do see something that you like, just tear it out. So here in my pile here, you can see I have lots of different skin colors. Dark, light, pink, yellow, sometimes even bluish. So we have a pattern pile. We have a pile with skin colors. 
and the next pile can be ridiculous. So sometimes I need to use a second magazine because I've gone through the first and I'm not finding what I need. Again, I just put the magazine upside down and the last thing I'm looking for is hair. This is crazy, Doretta. It's like you're building some freakish robot. Well, here, I found some hair here, so I'm gonna put that in the hair pile. Oh, there's some more hair here. I'm just gonna tear it out. So I find it easier just to tear out the whole page, and then I can cut what I need later, because sometimes the binding of the magazine makes it complicated to cut it out. And when you tear it out, what you realize is there's something on the other side that might be useful. So here I got it. I've got a hair pile. I've got a pile with skin colors and I have a pile with patterns. So now I just need a plain piece of paper. So lots of us have around the house computer paper that looks like this. You can use this, this is awesome. Or you can take that piece and you can cut it into shapes. Nobody ever said that we always have to work on a square shape or a rectangle shape. You can cut the edges around. That's totally up to you. Uh, something that's really fun with collage is even just changing the shape of your picture. So for now, I'm just gonna keep it a rectangle so there's lots of space. And here's the first thing I do. So I'm gonna need my glue stick and my scissors. And I'm first gonna reach for the pile of magazines that have pattern. Whoa, this makes me dizzy. It's so nice when I see this. Now I know I asked you to have a scissors ready. We're not gonna use scissors today because a big thing about making a picture is it doesn't have to look like a photograph. You know what, when you're creating a picture, you're just making a story. You're telling a story about something and it doesn't have to look perfect. It doesn't have to look real. It just has to make the viewer uh, engage with it, um, be surprised by something, wonder what's gonna happen next. So one way we do that with collage is just to tear, because when you're tearing, you lose a little bit of control and surprises happen. And there's nothing better than a surprise happening in a story. So I've got a piece of um, patterned paper here. It looks like turkey dinner, but I like the way these patterns are here. So I'm going to tear. Uh, the shirt of one of my skateboarders. When I'm tearing, I'm gonna use my thumb and my forefinger, and I'm gonna keep them really close together. I know when I tore out of the magazine, I just ripped, but this one, I'm just gonna tear, and I'm gonna tear a little rectangle piece. Uh, this looks like it was a pattern from somebody's dress, but once again, I'm gonna tear out, I'm gonna put my thumbs together really closely, and pinch and I can tear really slowly or I can tear fast, but this way I have a little bit of control. But I love those wobbly shapes. It's almost like the shirt is blowing in the wind. And here we go. Now remember I told you that collage is a lot of different pieces um, put together like a puzzle. So here are my two pieces. Awesome. So the next thing my skateboarders need probably are heads a head that's kind of like this size. Think of a toonie maybe. And so when I'm cutting it out, here I'm gonna cut out, this is like a floor, but it'll still work. It doesn't have to be a perfect circle. And look, I didn't even draw it first. I didn't use a marker, I didn't use pencils. I'm just gonna try and cut out a circle on my own. So here's one circle. And the amazing thing about collage is just when you think you've made a mistake, you made a surprise. Because I look at that and I think, ooh, maybe that head's a little big. I can always change it. I can cut it smaller or I can find another piece. And let's see here. Here, I've pre-cut some pieces. So now I've got two heads. Uh, that already, it's amazing how when you have a body shape and a circle, it already looks like a figure. Let's put them at angles because we know when you're skateboarding, uh, you're holding your balance. So already here, a nice thing about collage is you can keep moving the pieces. So I don't want them to be bald. So do you remember we tore out all these hair pieces? Here are some hair pieces. What I'm gonna do is cut out some hair. It feels bizarre cutting out hair. It's a really wobbly piece. 
And if you can't cut it out perfectly, that's okay because your image is not about being perfect. It's about telling a funny story, a crazy story about skateboarding. So here I've got hair cut out here and I've got some hair cut out here. So I'm just gonna use my scissors and you can see this is a real art table because I've got patterns and colors and paper everywhere and glue. That's okay, you just get different ideas. Sometimes you'll choose something that's very funny. Sometimes um, you just like the color. Look at this one. This one's a funny one. I could do that. That's pretty crazy too. Oh, I like that. That is nonsense. That's almost like a Simpson haircut. Okay, and I'll do this one as well. I can leave this for something later. So you can see I'm already pretty far. I'm going to cut out a skateboard. Now close your eyes and picture what shape is it a skateboard? Is it kind of like a banana? Is it like a flattened watermelon? Is it an oval shape? I'm going to use my scissors and look, I didn't even draw it before because I know if I cut it once and I don't like the surprise that I cut, I can cut it again. It's not like I've drawn it down. Does that look like that skateboard might be all right for this person. Okay, I'm gonna try that. Hmm, let's see. But I know uh, skateboarders really like decorating their skateboards pretty much. Okay, so you can see this picture. Now I need to make it work. So before you glue anything down with collage, play around. And this one is gonna lean this way. You know, you're using a lot of action just using collage. But these skateboards have a lot of action too, just being on their skateboards. I'm also looking to see how this fits on my whole paper. This is a rectangular paper and I could have put it on a fried egg paper or I could have put it on an oval paper or if I wanted to do a lot of skateboarders and make a whole skateboarder team around my room, I could put two pieces of paper together. So let me see. What I'm going to do is just glue them down. And it's not a good time to open your windows or have a kitten in the room because you don't want a big wind blowing all your, all your hard work uh, away. But you know, if something falls off the table and you can't find it, if you cut it out once, you can cut it out again. So while I'm gluing down, I'm trying to make it look like my skateboarders are moving. They're not stiff robots. They're trying to balance. They're going so far and so fast down the hill. Their hair is blowing and they're trying to do jumps and crossover curves. And they've got really crazy shirts on. Now, there's something you might notice is missing. Have a look at my picture. What is missing from these skateboarders? I'm sure you can guess. Dreda, where are the arms and the legs of your skateboarders? Well, that's really just the fun part. Okay, whoa, the skateboarder, that's gonna be out of control. I hope it works. It's gonna be a surprise. So I'm gonna find a marker. I hope I got a good marker. This is the part I really like a lot because this is where you really create the characters. And you guys know how to do this, so I've got this looks like a permanent marker. Sometimes markers don't always write very well on uh, magazines because it's shiny, but this should be all right. So I'm going to do the first face. Are they going to look up? Are they looking down? Think of the emotion. Are they concentrating? So this one, she, this person is in bliss. Big smile and face. This one is going to be probably surprised and I'm going to give them different noses and different eyes and mouths because they're different people. And because we're telling a story, we're going to try to add a bit of variety. Okay, there are those faces. Now, it's kind of like stick people, but not really. But you have a chance here to really make it very active. Here are arms and how am I gonna make the arms of this person different? This person's gonna be a little bit more proud. And 
showing off. Now, hands you can do lots of different ways. You can give mittens for hands, circles for hands. I like to do flowers in a weird way. Watch this. Because I think no matter what, it's going to look like a hand, right? Um, and if you notice, never once did I use a pencil. I think sometimes pencils can be kind of boring because you can erase them. And I don't think you're going to make a mistake. I think you're going to make a surprise. I think weird things are going to happen, but that's kind of why you're making art. All right, Dreta, they need legs. OK, I haven't quite figured out how they're going to be standing. She's going to go like this. There we go. And I'm going to color in the feet and big shoes, big feet here. And maybe I'll do a foot over here and another foot here, color it in. And this one is going to have a very interesting way of balancing on the skateboard. And I hope they have a good ride on the skateboard. OK. And can you guys guess what we're missing next? Yeah, you guys are right. We need skateboard wheels. So I'm going to do the wheels. And you can do them however you want. You guys know what skateboards look like. Sometimes you can see the four wheels on a skateboard. You have to choose if you're going to do overlapping or not. That's up to you how you want to do it. And there you go. Whoa, already I have two skateboarders. So when I started, it was just a white piece of paper, some magazines, scissors, and glue. And now at the very end, I'm telling a story of two skateboarders. So I'm going to put a couple lines here. You've probably seen this on cartoons. I'm going to put a couple lines here or here or here. And it just makes your picture look more active. Now, if you want to, what are they skateboarding on? I know it looks all white here. You could tear a little piece of road here. What I like to do if I do a bit of road or part of the skateboard park is not let the skateboards touch it because it really looks like they're flying in the air there. And there you go. And that is it. That is called your skateboard collage. And that is the final project. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching this art recess. Uh, I hope you had a lot of fun doing collage and drawing and getting all these materials out. Remember, you can look at your library or your classroom or somewhere in your home for some of the magazines and markers and glue. And thank you for joining us here at Art Recess. And good luck with all your art making and storytelling.